Good morning. I have a question for you. Do you know how to be happy? Well, the reason I'm asking you this now is I was watching Tucker Carlson in Canada, Edmonton, the speech. Uh, my favorite part of the speech was uh, when he talked about how the Canadian government is killing children. Yeah. This was so strong. And uh, what I like the most about the whole thing, I think, is you know, the support that he's getting, the interest, the reaction from the Canadians. It's uh, very, very good. And from the Liberals, too, right? <laughs> That's all very funny. From the, the government and from uh, media. You know. now, people want to listen to guys like Tucker Carlson because he's a decent man. And he will not try to lie to you, you know. He will be honest. That's what people want. Right? Oh, they are turning away from media, for instance, because they keep lying, you know, and the government. So that's all very good. So now I was thinking, uh, this is all very enjoyable. You know, it makes me happy to see all this going on, right? And then I know some people will say, well, I'm just a realist and I'm not happy about it, you know. And you are not realists. You are sick. Of course you are. If you don't believe me, just spend time. Spend some time with people like this. They trust nobody. They are suspicious about everything. There are even channels who are like this. I, I will not mention any names. But, you know, you don't listen to anybody but me, <laughs> you know. Everybody else is controlled and part of the plan. Everybody is. Oh, and they will not be happy about something like this that is going on in Canada. You know, they will complain about it. And, of course, you are sick. You know, spend some time with these people. You will notice it's exhausting and you might get sick yourself. It's not healthy. So it's a very sad story. And I know there's nothing I can do about it. These people will continue to be like this. I'm sure of it. It's just a sad story. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It's like magic what is going on. Well, Tucker Carlson in Canada is just one tiny example. Uh, quite important, not very important. It's just a part of the time that we live in. It's all these decent people stepping up. And you know, people want to listen to the honest, decent people. You know, I see here in Sweden how media, established media, they try to get in on social media and get, you know, piece of the cake, you know. They are totally gone. They can't do it, see. Because they are not honest. And people want to listen to honest people. Well, at least they are trying to be honest, you know. Media, they, they are not even trying. I don't think so. <laughs> I saw a list actually of uh, this is new, this is American media. New York Times 2023, they fired 74 employees. I don't know how correct this is. I think it's pretty correct, right? New York Times, they fired 74 last year. Washington Post, they fired 240. LA Times fired. 115 journalists, see? And it's not just the papers. NBC, they fired just recently 75, see? Right, so it's a, they are, it's a disaster actually for mainstream media. And it's because of this. People want honesty above all. I mean, What's the point in reading a newspaper or listen to some news person, right? <laughs> you 
if you don't trust them, if you think that they are lying to you, what's the point? So it's all good. I saw this too. Andrew Bridgen, he said this uh, yesterday, I think. He said, more and more MPs are now questioning the pandemic response and the safety and the efficiency of the needle. At last, he said. Well, that's great. And I was thinking, well, they are doing it now, these people, these MPs. <laughs> It's a bit pathetic, isn't it? Well, it's good that it's happening, of course. But now they are turning around. <laughs> wow. These politicians, what can you say? Uh, finally this, you know, the story about Maddie. I'm sure many of you heard this story. Twelve-year-old girl, uh, her parents, her stupid idiot parents, well, the mother, I think, actually, uh, got her into this Pfizer experiment, right, the trial, 12 year old, and she got very, very sick. And then Pfizer and the Food and Drug Administration, they tried to hide the story you know, about Maddie. And now this hit uh, mainstream media. I'll post a link to this. I think it's like a local TV station somewhere. You know, I don't know where, but uh, they talk about it. And they also interview that idiot mother. Yeah, what can I say about this mother? I don't know. It's great that it's now hitting mainstream media, of course. But, you know, I can't stand it. I can't listen to this mother. No. She says, okay, so Pfizer, they are doing a trial now <laughs> to get the needle ready. All right, I'll bring my 12-year-old daughter. I mean, come on. What's the matter with people? I don't know. Right, I forgot to wish you a great weekend yesterday, so I hope you're having a great weekend. I have a great day today. It's a sunny and uh, it's getting warmer, more light, you see. And we are looking for what to do with our vegetables and stuff. It's a great time we have right now. We still have snow, actually. It snowed yesterday. And, uh, but it's, it's looking great. So I enjoy it and I know how to be happy. I know how to be angry too, of course, but I know how to be happy. And if you don't know how to be happy, you should learn it. You should work on yourself, of course. Do something about it. All right. Be good.